So what happens in presence of significant AR? Well, the left ventricle has to cope with a state of volume overload. This means it has to pump twice the regurgitant volume, and this brings to a dilated ventricle, which at the beginning is hyperdynamic and, and stays and cope with the situation. As you can see here on the right, you have the regurgitant jet, on the left, you have the consequence, but then it can develop some kind of dysfunction until we reach its states like this one that we showed you at the beginning. This is irreversible, this systolic dysfunction, and this means we have to operate and send the patient to surgery before. So consider always symptoms, severity of AR, and left ventricle size and function. Yes, Anna, and it definitely shows how important echocardiography is in making the decision when to operate a patient. 